Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Farming Simulator in the Obertal Let's Play map. In between the episodes I sold one entire truckload of fertilizer and I realized something. We can make so much money. This is actually the reason I decided to set the difficulty to hard. So now we won't get as much money from the products anymore. But I felt like there are so many possibilities with all the factories that are available, all the production chains. I wouldn't mind it to be a little bit more challenging. Basically, if we have a look at my harvest income right here, this is what I made the previous day in the game. And it was just a little bit overwhelming. I didn't want to feel too cheap there. So now the prices are actually really bad. But that is okay. We're gonna make enough money. Even with the fertilizer right now, we can still make tons of money. I mean, just multiply 2,500 by 60. We're still gonna make good money, but it's gonna be a little bit more challenging and we cannot just, you know, roll through the entire goal of the series, which is purchasing the entire map. So I'm definitely gonna sell some more of that fertilizer to make quick money. Actually, if we have a look at my factories, you can see I've been very busy, especially in the fertilizer department. We have over 500,000 liters of fertilizer that we can use in order to make herbicide, for instance, or we could put it into the seed production as well. I also got tons of lime, but the fertilizer is gonna be the main thing that I'm gonna use right now in order to catapult us to the next industry. The question is going to be what we want to dive into and I'm actually going to think about that a little bit, maybe check out a few possibilities. I have also programmed in way more waypoints, so we have a couple more selling points for instance right here. So basically we're in a good spot right now. If we go ahead and check out the chickens, you can see, well, they have been busy as well and I've just been stacking this thing up. Maybe we can go ahead and sell it right in the beginning of this episode. Actually, we should do that. Let's not wait around with it any longer. So I'm just gonna try to put these guys on top of here as well. As long as they hold before I set up the belt, I'm gonna be fine. Wonderful. And now belt, you go on there. Let's quickly check out the egg price. Prices are gonna be... No, that's potatoes. But yeah, they're basically gonna be very bad. It looks as though the campsite has the best prices, though trade ledly is actually increasing. So we might want to wait with that a little bit since my field is still growing, the grass field. By the way, one thing I should have mentioned for the growth rate, it only matters for the grass. It doesn't matter for all the other crops. As soon as the other crops are ready to harvest, you can go for it. Campsite is right here, not too far away. However, I haven't programmed that in just yet. Let's make our way there. Yeah, looks like a pretty good load, at least for this pickup. I have my auto drive routes up to this intersection, which is why we are continuing right at this point. I might want to make sure this is connected. I usually forget to connect the start of my route. And we're gonna make our way to the campsite. I had to lower my graphic settings just a tad. Let's hope it's gonna lag a little bit less than in the previous episode. But here we go, here we are at the campsite. We're gonna go ahead and sell our cartons right there. I'm assuming this is gonna happen as soon as we release the belts. Let me just go ahead and make sure this is actually our sell point. So that would be sell at the campsite. Okay, now let's just undo the belts. K come on. Yeah, yeah. Ah, there we go. Eggs are slowly being sold. Do I have to wiggle them around? Yeah, there we go. Oh no. Okay, so we might want to do this with a different type of trailer. I mean, that's gonna be a pain in the butt, right? Let's just open this up and drop them on the floor. <gasps> Why wouldn't you get sold? Come on, are these eggs broken? Okay, we can just go ahead and wiggle these guys out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not sure I'm the biggest fan of it. Okay, maybe the trigger point is more in the center. Okay, that could be, so I cannot... S uh, no, never mind. <laughs> Either way, we need to figure out a better way to deal with the selling point. We are gonna proceed by turning around the car or the truck, whatever it is gonna be that we're gonna use. And we're gonna make our way back home to take care of a few other things. So that was like 4,000 euros from X, not that much. Still better than nothing, I would say. Right then, another thing I wanted to take care of now that we actually own the field, I wanted to go into the miscellaneous section here and set up a bunch of silo displays. Mostly for my refilling stations here, I need to know just how much is in there. And if I'm not mistaken, I should be able to place one just to the left of here and then it should register the amount of lime we have in there. Yeah, I think at least that is the sign for lime. Uh, come on, let's do the same thing here. 
And then last but not least, of course, the solid fertilizer is also going to require one of these. 57,000. But then what the heck is this? This is not lime in this case. Yeah, this is seeds. And right here we register fertilizer. Okay, I get it. Uh, let me go ahead and change this. So if I set this to a range of 9, we have the seeds and lime registered. So it just checks in the radius around it. I want the lime, this plate and here nothing. Let's confirm that. Okay, at least that's working. I just have to set these up the right way. On the second one, we're gonna have the seeds. And the third one is already set to fertilizer. Great stuff. Wonderful. Then instead of that, we are actually gonna do a large silo display that I wanna set up at my silos, obviously. We're gonna have this bad boy right here. And it should display everything that I can actually store in there. Which is, of course, mostly gonna be the grain and everything. But I don't want everything to show up. I only want to show up what I actually own. So I'm probably gonna keep wheat, barley, oat, canola in there. And the rest I'm gonna shut off for the time being. Until we actually store it in there. There we go. And as we plant new crops, we are gonna add them to the list. But now I will know and have the overview of what I have. I might actually want to do the same thing for my barn. Since I can store grass, hay and everything in here as well. So we're gonna install a smaller version of that display. Yeah, we can even store wood chips, straw, pig food. Ah, that's gonna be interesting. But same thing here, I actually wanna start with straw, grass and hay. With everything else turned off. Alright, with that out of the way, let's do something else on my to-do list. I would actually like to purchase the road system. I know this may sound crazy to you, but I just think this is the next logical step. We're gonna spend 100k and we now own all of the roads. It's gonna be especially helpful owning fields next to the roads. Another thing on my to-do list is to actually upgrade the equipment. First of all, I want to bring all the machines to the wash and repair station. And we're gonna give them all the options we were looking for. For instance, my truck here. Let's repair it while we're at it. I wanted this to be jet black, including the rims. And uh, no, we want to go with the big wheels. I think that's good. Customize that. Let's bring in the next vehicle. I want to bring over my tractor here, for instance. This is the upgrade I'm looking forward to the most. We're actually going to go all the way in with twin wheels. Yes, look at that. That is just amazing. And we also want the best engine setup. This upgrade is going to cost us 90,000, but I believe it's going to be worth it. I mean, we now have 450 horsepower. That also means we can go for some more equipment. I wonder if you still fit in your parking spot. Anyways, let's grab one of our trucks, this guy here. I just want to back out of the garage a little bit and then go to my trailers. We're going to do one more load of fertilizer selling so that I can show you we can make money with this. And then I'm basically going to do some grinding in order to fill up my factories and figure out what we want to do next. I want to go ahead, grab this trailer right there. Now let's check the prices for fertilizer. We got that right here, 2.5k at Central Station. So that is going to be an easy job. We have 500,000 liters. Let's maybe do three cells. Yeah, that should give us a good amount of money. So one, two, three, and you hop off. Thank you for the money. And here we go. Man, this is going to feel so much better. Give me fertilizer. Mm-hmm. And full we are. Let's go to the selling point. Thankfully, I checked the prices again. And it was actually not the central market. It was the central station. So I want to make sure this guy actually goes there. <laughs> Here we have arrived at the central station. Oh, I need to make sure this doesn't happen. Just a slight adjustment of the waypoints. Okay, now I'm really curious. Economic difficulty is set to hard. But this is still going to be a pretty good sell. Oh yeah, just look at the money rolling in. Great, that's what I'm talking about. We made 152,000. Now honestly, I'm probably only going to exploit this method in order to get to the next stage. So either we buy a field with all the necessary equipment or we get into another industry. But of course, I don't want to buy the entire map off of fertilizer. But yeah, I do not mind the boost at this point. I've been letting these auto drive workers do their job for a long time in order to get to where I am. Alright, with that out of the way, I'm gonna do some more work. My goal is to fill up most of the factories that I currently own, just top them off, sell a bunch more fertilizer and then I'm gonna be back once I have a plan for the future. 
Alright guys, I had a look around the machinery and I want to get myself started with a field. The problem is just in order to get all the machines that I want, including the field, I'm going to need approximately 1.5 million in the bank. Currently we have 600,000. I could get the rest just selling the fertilizer, but I wouldn't feel accomplished this way. I would feel cheap and dirty. So I was looking for something else we could purchase and came up with this iron ore mine. This sounds intriguing. I already purchased it for 9,000 euros. It is ours and all we have to do in order to get this going, let's have a look at that. We need to bring over diesel in order to create iron ore. The iron ore we can then go ahead and sell for a pretty good price. If we check this out, 1,500, not quite as much as fertilizer surprisingly. But it's still pretty good. So I thought we're actually going to dedicate our money to a bunch more equipment. I'm going to need another truck. We're going to go with the same version here. I just like this one. And this guy is going to be blue. We're also going to go into the miscellaneous section of the tools. And we will be able to find this enormous tank. This guy is dedicated to diesel and add blue. Going to cost us 68,000. I actually already like the color scheme here, so we're gonna buy that as well. Right, now we only need to figure out where we can bring this huge thing in order to fill it up with diesel and deliver it to the iron ore. Wow, check this out. This is enormous. The first thing I'm gonna try is to bring this over here. Can we fill this up? Yeah, there we go, okay. I can actually just go ahead and fill this up at the fuel station. Now looking at the map, I might actually want to take this fuel station here. Yeah, we can just probably ignore that one and directly plot a path to this station and then the iron ore. Thankfully, I've already done a little bit of work here earlier, so I don't have to plan out the entirety of the course. Ah, I see. The iron mine is actually all the way down there and the fuel station is here on the top. So that's going to be slightly annoying, but auto drive is going to take care of that for us. Now, let's see. We probably want to go to the small square here, though I'm not 100% sure. Is this the place where I want to be? Yes, okay. Diesel. The selected silo is empty. Oh no, that is just a silo. <laughs> this theoretically means I could ship over tons and tons of diesel and then use a smaller wagon to ship it over to the iron mine. Mm. I'm intrigued by the idea. What are the smaller options and what would I need in order to pull this? I mean, I already know this could be pulled by just the pickup, but it's only 3,750 liters. I think I'm going to keep myself this option for later. But I think in this case, we're just going to ship the fuel from the gas station south and bring it over here. This seems to be close and it's hopefully a station where we can actually purchase the fuel. So instead, I'm going to head to the iron mine, set up the waypoint there, and then we drive back to the gas station. Here we are. And yeah, we have more than enough room to actually get there. I want to go ahead and unload the trailer right there. I want to make a new folder called iron mine. And then we can put these right in there. Wonderful. These might be the only two objects in this folder, but who cares. Okay, I'm now gonna make my way to the fuel station. And we shall see how that turns out. Wonderful. Here we are at the gas station. We're gonna make a U-turn at this place. Trigger is approximately here. So I'm gonna make sure we get one more waypoint. Come on. There we go. And just like that, we're gonna make our way back. And this way, I will be able to take care of the arm mine have another source of reliable income. Obviously, it's going to be quite expensive to purchase all the fuel, but you gotta spend money to make money. Alrighty, here we are. It is actually the next in-game day. I brought a couple of loads of fuel to the iron mine and now I'm delivering the iron ore. As I was doing the grass field, field 30 once again, I decided this is not what I want. The field just sucks and I wanted to purchase another one. Before we do that though, we're gonna enjoy the fruit of our labor by unloading this truck full of precious iron ore. There it is, the black gold or whatever. Oh no, it's actually, well, never mind. <laughs> we're making lots of money with it, that is what counts. There we go, everything sold, that was approximately 90k. Of course, if we were to play on normal economic difficulty now, that would be even more. Anyways, now it's time to do field 30 one last time. I'm gonna wait for the ready to grow stage. Then I'm gonna harvest this field, load it all up, bring it back to my barn probably. And then I'm gonna plow this field once again and just leave it like that. 
So field 30, I don't want to do no more. I want to exchange it with field 15. This is the next smallest field probably, and it's only 100k. So we can now easily afford that. And I'm actually going to do that right away. This is now ours. Should we purchase the thing around it too? Mm, probably not. I mean, it's just a bunch of forest. What I'm much more interested in is the biogas plant, which is only 90k. So we can just go ahead and purchase that too. Now, I'm not 100% sure what we can do here. We can, of course, set up a huge load of silage. So that might be a fun approach instead of just putting it into the factory. Now, I actually got rid of my mowers once again and purchased some other ones right there. These actually come with a proper swath that actually worked and now everything is lining up in the back just as we would with a windrower. That means once again, I sold my old mowers. I also sold the windrower. Then I also went ahead and purchased another one of these trailers. I think we're now ready to sell our seating machine and plower. Yeah, let's go ahead and sell these guys. I should actually bring them to the shop, but right now I do not care about that. Just give me my money back so I can purchase something better. I was actually eyeballing the Terminator right here, which has a width of 18 meters, and it comes with a separate tank containing seeds and fertilizer with almost 15,000 liters capacity. So that should be enough for most of the fields, I would assume. Yeah, I mean, look at this bad boy. That's just insane. I love it. I want to test it out. It also requires 450 horsepower, so just enough with our tractor. 212,000, good purchase. And of course, we're going to need the tank edition as well. Yes, give me that. We're most likely going to require a better subsoiler. And I wonder, is 8 meter worth it above the 6 meters here? Yeah, I guess the 6 meter one also fertilizes, which I don't necessarily want. So we're going to go with this subsoiler slash plow for most of our future plowing requirements. With that out of the way, I should have all the machinery to take care of field 15 right here. My goal is to actually bring over the grass into the silo and stack it up right there since the field is very close. Okay, give me some time to get this prepared, just abandoning field 30 and bringing over the operation to field 15. See ya in a second. Alrighty, here we go, here we are. I took myself the liberty of harvesting this field once, or well, mowing and bringing the grass back to my farm. It is now time to plow the field, but after that we're gonna get to see this monstrosity in action. Oh yes, I'm already looking forward to this. This is gonna be fabulous. This is actually interesting to fill up. It is also not going to work automatically. However, it has such a large capacity that I believe I can seed most of the fields. Otherwise, we just have to buy something bigger, right? But I wanted to be back for this one because we are going to drive a course here in order to plow this field with the intentions to get the biggest possible harvest out of it. And I hope the way I plotted this thing, it's gonna cover most of the field. It should work out. However, now we also need to take care of fertilizing and liming this thing. And I thought right about now it is time to introduce a second tractor that is less powerful and can take care of the easier jobs and also is capable of driving through the fields without destroying them. The one I like to use for that is the New Holland T6 series. It comes with about 185 horsepower if you bump up the engine all the way. It's 175 actually, but that's gonna be fine. As for the wheel setup, I would like to have a narrow tire so I can drive through all the fields and well, I guess we have to go with the Trelleborg wheel brand. Do we want a front loader attachment for this? Probably yes, you know, just in case. It doesn't really hurt, it's only 1,500. And maybe eventually I want to use this tractor in order to remove silage out of the BGA or something like that. 129,000, yes, give me that. Wanna hop directly into the tractor. Soon enough I'm gonna have too many vehicles to actually tap through everything. But here we go. Maybe we should actually purchase a front weight for this. I think a thousand kilograms is gonna be enough. While we're waiting here for this field to be plowed, let's maybe check out a bunch of our productions. I should have planned a look at that. We have so much silage to sell. If we check out the fertilizer plant, there's also a whole bunch of fertilizer ready for us. We even have some lime, even though I stopped selling that for the most part since it wasn't really worth it with the hard economics. I've also took myself the liberty of drying a little bit of grass into hay already. And then as for the iron ore mine, let's check that out as well. There's another load we could actually bring over. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. 
For this, I have parked another trailer here. I believe I let you know when I bought this. I'm not even sure, but we're gonna load some iron and sell it somewhere. Actually, we need to figure out what's the best place right now. There it is, iron ore, 1,500 at Central Market still. And we're gonna do exactly one load, and I told them to actually go ahead and park at this location again once it's over. But now we can just let this run, and we're gonna make another 150k or so income. But yeah, with that, I more or less brought you up to speed. What I'm actually gonna do right now is I'm gonna bring over the scout, the analyzing thing, and we need to analyze this entire field, then I'm going to lime it and fertilize it. Well, actually, the fertilization can happen with the seeding together. But it's still gonna be grass, so we need to collect some more money in order to get another field for the crop. However, since I want this to happen in today's episode, I'm gonna do some off-camera grinding right now, and I'm gonna be right back once we get to something new, namely a new field, ready to finally start some crops. Yeah, I think we first have to analyze the field, so I'm gonna bring this over first, and after that we're gonna lime it. But yeah, let's skip to the part where we're ready to actually buy another field. Alright guys, I've been grinding like a madman. You can see the money I've made in the previous few days and it is now time to actually change the strategy completely. I did a little bit of testing and this is what I came up with. I actually sold my cedar again, it was just too clunky, I wasn't able to automatically drive it through the streets and everything. So I decided to go for the smaller cedar, mainly because of the reason that it opens up its cover for both compartments, the fertilizer and the cedars. I also bought myself some more or less cheap ogre wagons, both of which I have filled, one with seeds and another one with fertilizer. And there actually goes another harvest income. Anyways, once we need to seed a field, I'm going to strategically place those guys around the field so I can automatically fill up the cedar at the field and it doesn't have to drive all the way back through the farm. They have a capacity of 30,000 liters, so I'm pretty sure we can do any field on the map. I also have a third ogre wagon with just enough capacity that it can take one load of the biggest harvester. So I'm gonna have that on the field emptying the harvester and it's gonna be emptied into one of my trailers for the truck. The truck is then going to deliver it to the silo and then making its way back to the field. I still have my lime wagon and one fertilizer wagon in order to take care of those needs. Now the only thing that I'm really missing is a field and a harvester. I probably could now get the harvester but I kind of have another idea. What I actually want to do, let me just hop over here. Can I please, yes, visit this place. There are my mower attachments here and also the subsoiler. The subsoiler I need to keep because we need to do that at least once with every field that we purchase. After that, the cedar should make sure we don't have to plow it anymore. However, I'm still not happy with my mowing setup. So I decided to improve on that as well. This means I'm gonna hop into my garage and I'm actually gonna sell those mowers again. It was a nice time, but they gotta go. Right there, you can go. Front attachment, you can go as well. Let's have a look at the forage harvesters. All the way back, there is this Jaguar. And I just love the idea to actually mow stuff with this guy. Basically, it comes with a pipe that is gonna automatically put the grass into one of my trailers. However, it is also capable of taking care of other things. At least, I believe so, depending on the attachment. So if we have a look at the attachments, the forage harvester headers, we can, for instance, harvest corn, but we can also harvest wheat. Am I seeing this correctly? I mean, it almost looks like it. And it's really a thing I desperately want. If it doesn't work, we then still have to purchase a normal harvester, but oh well, I can live with it for the time being. Look at this guy. It's just absolutely magnificent. We can have a standard pipe or long pipe. Yeah, you sure know what I'm going for. 626 horsepower. Oh my god, I love it. It's so expensive. Uh. So in this case, I'm also gonna purchase this header here. And do we care about the design? Yeah, I mean, there's something extra here. It's probably not gonna do anything for us, but since we're spending so much money anyways, let's do this. And here it is. Oh man, <laughs> I wish I could sit in one of these for real. So the way I think these are gonna work is we just mow the field and then we have a trailer at the back. The question is just what kind of trailer do we have to attach? Like, I know probably this is going to work here, this connection. But I really would like to have some more capacity, you know? 
Could we, for instance, have a trolley with a trailer here, or maybe even an ogre wagon would be great. I mean, eventually I want a real harvester, but we're just gonna go for that as well. I'm gonna need to save up some money again. We still have to purchase the field. I kind of have to test it out. I'm gonna purchase a dolly, and if we can attach this, I'm gonna be very happy. No. <laughs> so I guess that's a little bit of a disadvantage. Apparently there's something in the sugarcane technology that we could use. Yeah, probably this guy. With a capacity of 66,000 liters. That's not bad. It's 92,000 though and it cannot take any wheat, for instance. So this would basically be our mower solution only. Well, I guess in due time we are gonna make up for it. I, I kind of want to go for it, but I want a different color. Yeah, there's nothing really that I like. I think I'm just gonna go for white. 93,000. Oh man, this is so crazy. But there we go. Theoretically, that is supposed to work out. And it's gonna be amazing. Because we can just mow grass until the end of days. I like that. Let's uh, bring that to field 15. Actually, let's bring it to another field. Because that's another thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna purchase field 22 for 286,000. You are now mine. And this is finally our first field that we're gonna use to grow some crop. But before we do that, we have to mow the grass that's still on there. Alrighty, here we are. Let's test this out. I'm gonna set up the auto drive points later. Because we definitely need a way to automatically empty this if we want to do this entire grass field. And I'm just doing it because there's already grass on it and I can mow stuff. <laughs> but yeah, this is gonna be our crop field. Anyways, let's lower the mower and test it out. Unfold first. Ah, of course, I have to unfold the pipe. There we go. And it should always be pointing towards the trailer. Let's turn this guy on and look at this. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so much better. Even though the width of the mower is a little bit smaller, but we're basically gonna have no more grass on the floor. Absolutely brilliant, if you ask me. Okay, but I think with that out of the way, we are pretty much settled for the next episode. In the next episode, I will meet you as soon as we can start treating this field, caring for it and planting some stuff. And it's gonna be absolutely glorious. But with that out of the way, let's wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.